that an earthquake or are you just excited to join me tonight? Welcome to HQ Sports, the only live mobile trivia game that turns all of those stats, facts, and records you've accumulated for years of fandom into some money for game tickets. Or at least a hot dog while you're there. I'm your teammate, your coach, and your referee all in one. I'm Lauren Gambino. And I am all about the World Cup right now, and I know a whole bunch of you are too. After Mexico upset Germany yesterday, Mexico City reported seismic activity. After scoring in the 35th minute, fans jumped for joy so hard that it caused an artificial earthquake. No sports fans were hurt, so that's the kind of excitement we're into. No surprise that England was more restrained in its win today. And we're seeing a lot of fans from France, Argentina, and Peru in the chat. Keep it coming! But you know what's more gratifying than a big win? Beating your friends! Or at least playing with them on HQ Sports. So to draft them into this game, swipe across the screen and add your address book to see which friends play HQ. If they're not in this game yet, tap the wave icon next to their name and send them a message to join in b before round one begins. Tonight, I'm going to take you through 12 rounds of sports-only trivia, going from slow pitch style to Araldus Chapman fastball heat. Answer them all correctly, and you win. Tonight, we are playing for a prize of $1,000. Yes, 1,000 big ones enough cash to bid on that wonky Ronaldo bust. Yes, he finally received a more respectable tribute, thank goodness. So who wants the old one? It's up for grabs, come on. Lastly, an extra life can get you back in the game if you've been knocked out, but you can only use one per game and never on the last round. Have your friend sign up for HQ with your username as a referral code to earn them. Now, let's take one final stretch Ah, it's time, my friends, to step into the ring, touch gloves, round one starts now. What U.S. state is famous for Louisville Slugger bats? New Connecticut, South Oregon, Kentucky. Good if you know your geography, and good if you know what the Louisville Slugger is all about. Bats, yes, bats, they're good for playing baseball, bad for playing HQ. Yeah, you need your hands for that. Hillerich and Bradsby, the company that manufactures the famous Louisville Bats, sold its brand to Wilson in 2015. Oh, here's another fun fact. Louisville is in Kentucky. That's right, Louisville, Kentucky, with 116,500 of you getting that one right. 2,500 2, bats are made daily. That's a little crazy, right? Like, how many bats are we losing day to day? On with it, round number two. What word describes the pretend drafts that NBA experts put out this time of year? Clown, goof, muck. All funny things about the NBA. But all of these self-proclaimed experts out there literally are making a mockery out of our drafts. Mock, mock drafts is the answer here. One, over 100,000 of you got that one right. And listen, there's just article after article of things that won't happen, but theoretically could. Well, we'll soon enough find out if anyone's right about anything because the NBA draft is in fact this Thursday in Brooklyn. But before we move on to round number three, I got some shout outs for you. Jennifer Grimm, Eric Shaw, Dan Crones, Marilyn Salzman, and Dean Swift, who says he hopes that I stay injury free for the remaining of the HQ Sports season. Why, thank you, my friend. I'll let you in on a little secret, everyone. That's why I turned down the cover of Madden 19. I don't need that Madden curse to find me. I mean, I'm also not an NFL football player, but that's less important. Now on with it, round number three. Which of these is the name of a real MLB mascot? Philly Fanatic, Boston Bumblebee, San Diego Nacho Thief. I now know what I want the HQ Sports mascot to be named. Am I right? Although, I'm not sure I believe this mascot. The Philly Fanatic claims to be a large, flightless bird. Philly Fanatic, that's the real MLB mascot that we were looking for. Yes, 93,019 of you got that one correct. But the Fanatic is a true legend of the bothering innocent bystanders game in the city of brotherly love. And speaking of brotherly love, it looks like Gossamer and Grimace, you know, the big, fluffy, colorful guys. They could all be bros, right? 
Or is it just me? Okay. Round four. A year ago today, Diana Taurasi became the WNBA's all-time leader in what category? Points, home runs, touchdowns. Pay attention to the question, my friends. One of these things is not like the others. Last June 18th, Taurasi passed Tina Thompson for the top spot, and she's still going strong. This month, she became the first WNBA player to score 8,000 total points. WNBA, we're talking points. It's basketball. Yes, 90,555 of you got that one correct. And that's not counting all of the points she scores when she plays in Russia in the offseason. That's a dedicated lady. Now, we're going to take a quick water break. What do you want to see more questions about? Tweet at us at HQ Sports and let us know what you want to see for our next game on Friday. We've been listening, which is why we included NASCAR in our last game. And for those of you who don't think NASCAR or auto racing is a sport, just because you have a driver's license and you sit in traffic every day does not make you an expert. Can your Prius go 190 miles per hour out of the factory? Is your body athletic and can turn after turn? I didn't think so. So let's give legends like Dale and Jimmy the respect their sport deserves. Break, back to round number five. When can a baseball inning be called immaculate? Three outs on three pitches, three strikeouts on nine pitches, three outs to the same defender. Immaculate inning. Yes, because sportsmanship is next to godliness. That's how that goes, right? A few weeks ago, Max Scherzer of the Nationals became only the fifth pitcher in history to record multiple immaculate innings when he took the mound threw nine pitches, and struck out three rays in a row. Three strikeouts on nine pitches. 46,373 of you knew that one. Yes, I am bringing the heat. It is now round number six. Here we go. In the NHL, which of these is the most severe penalty? Misconduct, double minor, major. Ah, oh, you wish that clipping was an answer here, huh? I know, too soon, too soon? Clipping is not one of the answers, but it is a minor penalty. And a minor is four minutes, a major is five, and a misconduct can result in a player's ejection and 10 minutes shorthanded for the offending team while the player sits in the box. 21,413 of you got that one correct. Wow, losing over 25,000 of you just got red carded. You're out of this game. An extra life can get you back in. Holy moly, we are getting down to the harder questions. It's round number seven. New member of the International Boxing Hall of Fame, Vitaly Klitschko, now holds what job? Mayor, English teacher, medical doctor. Vitaly Klitschko, a.k.a. Dr. Iron Fist. He does have an actual doctorate, but it's a Ph.D. His current gig is as mayor of Kiev, Ukraine. Vitaly went 45-2 in his career with 41 knockouts. 42 if you include his mayoral win with 57% of the vote. 12,904 of you are keeping up on your sports and your politics. Very well rounded, my friends. Round number eight. In what state is the College World Series held every year? Pennsylvania, Nebraska, Oklahoma. Ah, uh, yes, the College World Series. Since 1950. The College World Series has been held in the same place. Perhaps Peyton Manning's favorite city? It's Omaha, Nebraska! Nebraska is the answer. 9,198 of you knew that one. In the majors, two teams make the series. In college, it's an eight-team double elim elimination tournament. Right here, this is single elimination. And we're going into round number nine. Who is the only athlete to win a major in golf and Olympic gold in track and field? Babe Diedrichsen, Zaharias, Jim Thorpe, Bobby Jones. Ah, yes, 
Bobby Jones called Babe one of the 10 best golfers ever, male or female. But before she took up golf and won 10 majors, she won gold in the hurdles and javelin in 1932. Yes, 4,556 of you got that one. And she only got silver in the high jump due to a technicali technicality. And a reporter famously told her that she should just stay home, get prettied up, and wait for the phone to ring. Thank goodness she didn't, because she made history instead. Round number 10. A player on Mexico's national soccer team just tied a record for most what? World Cup matches played, World Cup goals scored, World Cup penalties. We got World Cup fever here at HQ Sports. Yes, the World Cup is typically a younger person's activity, but Rafa Marquez is now one of three men ever to play in five different World Cups. Five different World Cups, matches played, 3,267 of you knew that one. He's 39 years old, which is basically 89 in soccer years. So congrats to him and congrats for that big win against Germany yesterday. Round 11. A conspiracy theory claims the NBA rigged the first draft lottery by using what? Frozen envelope, weighted ping pong balls, laser pointer. Ah, I love a good conspiracy theory, especially when it has to do with sports. At the first draft lotto, the big market Knicks beat the odds to get the top pick, which was phenom Patrick Ewing. Some think the league orchestrated the move and the Knicks envelope was frozen so Commissioner Stern would know which one to pick. The old frozen envelope trick, 2,158 of you got that one. Conspiracy or not, the world may never know. But the world is going to know one thing, that we are down to the final round of HQ Sports. It is all come down to this. You are on the green. You can Cut this one in ever so gently, but if you go a little too hard, that ball is just taking a left and rolling down the hill. Here it is, round 12. Which country has the most men's rugby Olympic gold medals? Wales, New Zealand, USA. All comes down to this, our first rugby question, hey? Yeah. The most dominant rugby team in the world is still probably the New Zealand All Blacks, who have won the last two Rugby World Cups. But we didn't ask that. We're talking gold medals. In the four Olympics where rugby was played, the country that took home two of the golds back in the 1920s was none other than USA! 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 465 of you knew that one, and you are winners! Congratulations! Ah, 465 big winners. DMAC, I see you there on your computer. Super studious. You're taking home $2.15. Depending on where you go, you could get yourself a, a bottle of water, a coffee with that, go into a stadium. Maybe you could get a pack of gum. Hey, it's $2.15 more than what you started with. That's what I always say. D. Cuddy, I like the picturesque. There we go. Fi fi zone zero. All right, putting on your boots or something. I like that. I like that. Oh, M. Vassy, a bowl of raspberries. Yeah, that's on the Tom Brady TB12 diet. Look at you. All right, congrats again to all of our HQ Sports MVPs tonight. Or should I say MVTPs? Most valuable trivia players? I'll, I'll work on it, all right? Thank you for playing, and thank you for telling a friend. Keep up with the HQ Sports League schedule on Twitter, at HQ Sports. Again, I'm Lauren Gambino, and until next time, hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.